centre. Into there, a bit of garlic going in there. A bit of thyme, just to give it a bit more sort of earthiness. And kind of put thyme in a lot of, a lot of cooking. It's kind of a nice, a nice base flavour. A couple of bay leaves into there. And this, as I said, is a nice alternative if you're fed up with um, smoked salmon or smoked fish or prawn cocktail or something like that. It's quite a, it's quite a gutsy one, let's say. Uh, and you don't want too much because it is quite filling. But with the black pudding and the scallops, it's quite, you know, it's a little bit decadent, I suppose. OK, so that's in there. With the cauliflower, um, I've grated it. And the reason I grate it is because uh, with the stalks, it can turn the, the cauliflower, the, the finished soup, quite bitter. So um, you just basically rub the, uh, the florets over the top of a grater or a microplane. And you use quite a lot of that. This looks like an awful lot. So, I mean, that's generally, I think, the key to, to a really good soup is using a lot of, uh, of the main ingredient. And then just, uh, just sweat that down gently. Right, OK, so into there, a little bit of stock if you want, or a bit of milk, keep it nice and white. And you don't, um, don't get any colour on it, OK? So you don't want any, um, any tinge to it. OK, so sweat that off, a bit, uh, bit of salt in there, a little bit of, I'm using black pepper, white pepper would be quite nice. OK, so I'll leave that to tick over, just so it's soft, and then obviously puree it and pass it. Right, on to the next thing, black pudding. So I've got some... Some nice, nice soft black pudding here. Just you want to strip that out of its casing. And I'm just going to mix that with a few chopped shallots and a little bit of uh, a little bit of dill.